welcome back to London Vegans on YouTube. Today I'm not with Polly, I'm with my gorgeous friend Bree from Australia. Oh, hi! It's just Australia. <laughs> <laughs> now we've been sampling some vegan delicacies in, not where we are now, because we're in Soho Square now, which you know well. Yes, yeah, I love Soho Square. Lon we, I just reminds me of London Pride. We go back Great a long memories. way, don't yes, we? Yes. Eight years, well, no, ten years, maybe. Ten years, yep. We used to work at a radio station called Gaydar Radio. In Twickenham. Yep, we sure did. Back in the day, back in the day, good old days. <laughs> uh, but today we went to Wild Food Wild Cafe. Wild Food Cafe. Um, we had the best caramel slice that oh. I've ever tasted in my entire life. Your face just exploded almost, like not not in a bad way, in a good way. <laughs> my you... reaction was like I would so I would always choose food, food over sex. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What did you think of it? Because we had a bottle of wine, as you could probably tell. <laughs> um, I loved it words. because like it came out and just looked like a little garden. Um, and I was a big fan of the pea min min puree. Yeah. Well, you like the uh, the sauce on the cauliflower, right? We shared the salad. We had a, like a Buddha bowl type we've salad. Had, we've had a bottle of wine. And, and a bottle of wine. <laughs> Avocado. <laughs> yeah, it had um, like a nutritional yeast sauce almost that was made for the cauliflower, which was just the best. Yes. Yeah, so, but you're uh, right, the dessert was the ultimate, yeah, wasn't it? But the cauliflower was a standout. But maybe I'm biased because I'm saying to feel that in Australia at the moment, the cauliflower, as they tell you, my kitchen was in MasterChef, is like the rock star of vegetables. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The it's, it's the new kale. <laughs> <laughs> kale so last year. Yeah, kale so last year. <laughs> and quinoa. <laughs> well, kale was took over from acai berries, which took over from quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> You lived in Sydney. I did, yeah. But you're now in Perth. So what, what is the vegan food like there? Is, is it a big thing there? It is, like it's it is in huge. UK? But basically, if restaurants don't have vegan, or at least it's like all gluten-free, yeah. then you just walk out because like, what's what's going on? Because, you know, most people now, like if you go out with a group of friends, there's, you know, at least a couple that are gluten-free, and rightfully so. And so most restaurants have adapted to that. So Okay, so it's kind yeah. of expected It's kind over of there. like now just ingratiated into your eating out routine. Yeah. You, you, sometimes you're eating vegan and you don't even realise it. But you have got the climate though. I mean, you've got the better climate there, so yes, you'd want to eat more fresh salads and fresh vegetables and fruit. True, yeah. Whereas here, I, I kind of crave comfort food. I mean, obviously you can have comfort food as a vegan, but... Back, you have lots of comfort food as a I vegan. I do, I, I have a lot, yeah. I see your blog. <laughs> <laughs> Probably too much. <laughs> too much comfort food. P upside down pineapple cake, whatever it's called. Ooh, pineapple upside down cake. Sounds lovely. Yeah, pastry, a <laughs> lot of pastry. <laughs> on about 10 stones since I last saw you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it is fabulous to see you. Oh, oh I'm, you're such a darling. And I'm hoping that you're going to come back soon. Oh, yes. Oh, well, I'll be back in two years. I'll tell you about it later. Excellent. So, Whoa, I didn't know about that. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good to yeah. see you. Good see you see soon. Time. You're on. You're on screen. <laughs> Does that sound really Aussie now? Does that sound really Aussie now? <laughs> <laughs>